Hebrews 11, 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Luke 1, 3, 7, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Hi, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give my testimony on faith. It says in the Bible that faith can move mountains. And that if you have a faith of a mustard seed, there isn't anything that you can't do. And this is true. And that we defeat the devil by the blood of a lamb, that was Jesus, his pure and sanctified blood, and, the, and their testimony. So I'd like to, I'd like to um, submit a testimony right now about how God, our Almighty God, the beginning and the end, is in control of everything and can control everything and that when God has a plan for your life and things that are lined up specifically for you that are designed for you that are in alignment with God's plan for you there isn't anything or anyone that can block or stop the will of that so I just like to encourage people if, if this is happening to you a lot of people seem to be like trying to block you or stop your will or God God will, God will break through those things. He'll cause you to leap over walls, to burst through troops of people. It doesn't matter. God is the most powerful force there is. He created all things. Okay, so I'd like to just tell my story about... So I drive really far. Like, I live on an island. I have to drive to the exact opposite end of the island for one of my um, jobs that I have. My workplaces. And um, so as I was driving there, it just seemed like every single car was trying to slow me down. I mean, there was road work and they were holding up. It was like a, we were at a stop, basically, when they were working on a road. Because it's like, you know, it's the country and there's like only two lanes. One, they're going in opposite directions. So when there's a hold up, it's like they have to let everyone go. Anyways, that's besides the point. But I want to tell you that God is so amazing that God can stop time. God created time. God created all things. God created time. Therefore, God can stop time if He wants to. If His goal and His plan is to get you to work on time, then you're going to get to work on time. But this is the key, you guys. The key is to have faith that you have to have faith in him this is the key element in order for this to work for you and I know it sounds cliche and it sounds like hocus pocusy but trust me that I have proven this many many times that it is not it is absolute fact that if you have if you have faith in God to do the things you want him to do for you that he will do it and that is absolute like I can I am not more sure than anything than that because although all of these people and this happens constantly so let this be confirmation for anyone if this is happening to you then just let it be confirmation that God has a great plan for your life and let it bring you joy because people wouldn't be trying to stop you or block you if there wasn't something great in your future the resource have learned that and how would they know if they're complete strangers and they don't know you so anyway back to my testimony of the story so everyone was driving slow like just i mean traffic there were just a lot of things coming against me right so the way it looked in the natural and our earthly realm there's no way i would get to work on time i mean literally so <laughs> this god is a god of miracles i promise he's a god of miracles so every time this has happened, and I've tested this at least five times now, I've kept count too, at least five times, I've been driving to work and this has happened. There were like roadblocks or people driving extremely slow and I just didn't look at the time and I just stated, God I have faith in you, I have faith that you'll get me to work on time, you're God of all. All, all things, you're in control of all things, you're a God of miracles, there's anything that you can't do, and you'll get me to work on time, even if you have to stop time, God, I know you can stop time, so I got to the parking lot of my work, 
it takes me at least 10 minutes to change my clothes and walk from the parking lot to the clock in, where our clock in is. I pulled up, I swear, it was like, it looked like five minutes after on my clock in real time. But I, I had faith. I'm like, God, I know you can do this. God, please do this for me. And I just didn't waver. When you waver, you're showing God that you doubt. And then it will work for you. But if you put all your faith in Him, like all of your belief in your faith, in what He can do and His power, He'll do it for you. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not lying about this. It's the absolute truth. But from pulling up what looked in real time in the parking lot after my clock in time, I prayed to God and I walked to the clock in and truth be told the clock when I punched in was two minutes before the time I started work two minutes I started at three and I clocked in at 258 this is the absolute truth when I pulled into the parking lot after the time I was supposed to be there so not only can God stop time, but He can turn back time. Because I thought I was tripping. I'm like, I must have made a mistake when I looked at my watch. So I, I brought my phone out and I looked at the, the time again. And the time matched the time on the time clock. So it wasn't like the time clock was slow or anything. Okay, God controls everything. He controls everything. He created everything in seven days. Okay, science, a lot of people are like, I don't believe in God, I believe in science. Science can't explain a lot of things that are happening, okay? Science, yes, science does put a lot of things into formulas where we can figure out certain things. I don't discredit science. There's a brilliant scientists out there. But a lot of scientists were actually Christian. Like, did you know Isaac Newton was Christian? And I have a letter, in fact, that I might read to you from Albert Einstein to his daughter about God and that the power and love of God is the most this is the guy who came up with E equals MC squared okay the energy equals mass times the speed of light but yet he claims in his letter to his daughter that God's power and love is the most powerful force there is in the universe okay so yes science science and God are not so different. There is no definitive line that separates both of them. A lot of things like how can people talk in other people's minds across the world? I looked up the science to that and there's something called the electromagnetic cephalo encephalograph and I might have said that wrong but and we can go into synaptic firing and how it can happen within the vicinity of our, our synaptic firing in our brain but it can't be explained that people can have thoughts and that it can actually travel across the, the world. Okay? So, there are a lot of things that science cannot explain, but that God, you know, only God can. And He did create everything, and He's in control of everything. So you don't need to worry. You don't need to let these people trying to block you or do whatever they're doing upset you. Because if it's God's plan for you to get to that place on time, you will be on time in Jesus' name. And I speak this over your life. That whatever God's plan is for your life, it will come to fruition. And there isn't anything, anything that can stop it. In Jesus' name. Romans 10.17 So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Hebrews 11.1 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. 2 Corinthians 5.7 For we walk by faith, not by sight. Mark 11.22-24 And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. I love you, the bunnies love you, God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus love you eternally, unconditionally. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.